Hello everyone, Maurice and welcome to Tanks Invest. We're talking about investing, finance, and professional development for today's video edit tips only. The investment we're going to talk about today would be Ethereum Target ETH. So as of my video that I posted yesterday with respect to the recap of the FOMC meeting, based on the investment sentiment and what you know how Jerome has depicted for us, it seems like you know on the more of a short-term perspective, we're gonna see some more positive pressure coming from the equity market, knowing the fact that Jerome and Federal Reserve has no plan on you know stopping the hundred and twenty billion dollars of purchases of mortgage-backed security, which aka the quantitative easing plan that would be sustaining our economy going forward, right? So in a short term, definitely good. But in a long term, with respect to Jerome's depictions around inflation, is something that we need to be cautious about and be you know, worried about going forward because as we further quantitatively ease our economy, our dollars and, you know, our currency is going to depreciate going forward, which will weaken our country as a whole, right? Despite all the corporate companies, you know, growing and blowing up, right? So with respect to that anti-correlation effect, uh, it obviously drives some positive pressure in the equity market, which at the same time drives some negative selling pressure in the crypto market, right? So as of cur currently uh, at the moment I'm recording, Ethereum is down about 2% right now, trading around like the $2,385. It's definitely forming and consolidating in a more of a wedge pattern, uh, forming an apex sometime soon based on the technical analysis. So I'm going to go through the technical analysis again, right, with this catalyst just baked in and how it, how it correlates with the equity market right now. I'm going to identify the key resistance level to look out for and my price target for year in 2021 as well. So stay tuned, stick around, let's make some money. To the technical analysis, uh, let's look at the equity market real quick. You can see that as expected, you know, the FMOC meeting was positive. Again, the short term affectation perspective, right? The inflation is something that we still need to, you know, anticipate and it's going to happen. And with respect to the quantitative easing that we're going to be doing continuously going forward to sustain our economy, we are going to inflate even further. Right, so that's something that is a negative catalyst in the long-term perspective, positive catalyst in the short-term perspective. Right, so which is the reason why you see SPY, which is S&P 500, is up today. Uh, the Nasdaq's up respectively as well. You can see that more probably on Tesla, which is more like an index type of stock. Right, knowing the fact that the market cap is so big, it's up about 1.13%. And Neo's up about 2.82%. Um, you know, not mainly driven by the macro, but also some of the micro, because Neo does have some positive news that that's been percolating. And also with respect to Tesla, which the production numbers is anticipating to come out soon as well. So those are also factors we need to bake in. And while at the same time on the opposite spectrum, as expected, you know, the crypto market anti-correlates with the equity market, which is the reason why you see some sell-off right now. And respect to with the current level right now, trading around like the $2,005 level, uh, down about 1.17%. And this is basically just trading according to plan in the oscillation fashion. I believe, uh, based on how the MACD and the RSI set up right now, that the MACD has crossed. So it needs to cross back down in a, in a, in a relatively uh, soon um, and I believe the level that we're going to go down to will be somewhere around like the 2300 or the $2,350 uh, matching with this level of resistance here. But I think the like of it's going down to the 2300 will be more likely so as we further consolidate, right? So if I was you right now, I would probably wait for another maybe a couple hours from now, you know, or later, like depending on when you watch it, obviously, right? when we hit that $2,350 and we should be meeting that soon based on how the RSI is set up right now, we should be going down a little bit further, not too much, right? Um, and we should be reversing back upward and then continue honestly on a sideways fashion, right? But you could see that prominently, you could see, if I expand this chart a little bit, you can clearly see that the wedge it's um it's becoming tighter and tighter, right? You could see that it used to be it used to, the swing used to be how much? Like from the top three thousand eighty dollars to the bottom of like two thousand. So now it's kind of oscillating in a more tighter fashion. To now the swing is about how much? Like from two thousand six, two thousand seven hundred to like the two thousand three hundred. So 
it swing from like a thousand dollar separation to now just about um like three hundred dollars in separation so it's definitely you know in terms of like a swing trade perspective it's definitely becoming smaller and smaller as time progresses which makes sense right uh, because we're forming an, a wedge, right? And the apex, again, right, based on how the technical chart is set up, um, it seems like we're going to hit somewhere around, like, the July 3rd again, right? Which is going to be, a uh, again, a Saturday. I don't know why I forgot, because that's something I said yesterday. Um, and it makes sense, right? Because the Fridays and Saturdays have historically been uh, relatively red days, right? Because of the weekend effects, right? Um, typically, uh, there will be some minimal sell-off on Friday ahead of the, the weekend opens. And then on Saturday, um, I think it's because of the time zone difference, we see more of a sell-off across the board, right? And then Sunday, we subsequently rebound. So what I see going forward is we're just going to further consolidate. We bounce from the $2,330 level and bounce back up. And I think the next level of bounce would be somewhere around like the... 2550 i don't think we'll go up to the 2600 because um or above like the 2750 because that that would break the wedge right that we are continuing to form right so if we break that that would be great because that means we're not in the downward we're not in the upward wedge anymore we are basically just trending accordingly it's just that it looks kind of like an upward wedge but it's not because it's been consolidated in this way. But if we break that, that will form an outlier. And when you form an outlier, you have to basically redraw the chart on the board completely, start all over again, right? Because that's something that um, will just completely destroy the logics again, right? And when you do that, you have to recalculate the logics and supply and demand dynamics. And based on what I see right now, we are just trading according to logics right now. We're trading according to plan. And um, when the plan hits the fruition, that's the date we need to look out for. So hopefully that's helpful into, you know, giving you that precaution. All right, so just to recap on all the numbers again, right? Based on the oscillation level right now, I think the likelihood of it going back down to like the 2,250 or the 2,300 would be more likely. So um, I don't recommend like buying now if you think about swing trading because like, you know, for you to you do want to make like 50 bucks or you do want to make a couple hundred bucks, right? From the swing trade that we'll be expecting to be happening in duration going forward in the next you know a week or so you know contingent on that apex uh that we might come into fruition that could subsequently drive a sell-off right do we see the two thousand one hundred dollars um i think we we might but i think if we do that that will kind of break the chart a little bit in a logic perspective so i don't really see that occurring as much um but that's something we could look out for right if we do that that's a good sign because we broke the chart right and that means the formation of the upward wedge is no longer um consolidating in that fashion anymore right and with respect to the 1750 contingent on the apex actually being formed we will get there definitely we will actually go there first and then contingent on the selling pressure depending on the whales right because we don't have any affectations around or any clarity around like how much do they have in the holdings, right? Like people don't just openly tell you how much they have in their account, right? Or are they deciding to sell psychologically? We're not mind readers, nor are we bank accounts, right? So uh, like for us to get there, that's possible, contingent on the apex. Um, however, with respect to corporate adoption, based on the reverse engineering in my analysis, uh, hitting about like nine thousand eight hundred dollars for extra money from here is very logical based on the fact that we have hit ten percent corporate adoption in a relatively short amount of time in durations of maybe a couple weeks. Right, so that's it for today. So it's like my technical analysis on Ethereum ticket ETH. Really appreciate you guys for dropping by again. Uh, seems like you know the wedge is looking like it's forming uh, in front of our eyes. So something to be cautious about, something to be looking out for. So definitely. Be safe with your cash balance. Definitely reserve a good amount of chunk of dollars next to you um, for preparations for this coming so you don't get surprised. You know, the, the, the reason I'm doing this is really just to give you guys that heads up so you are prepared and not surprised going forward. So hopefully you guys can, you know, have that clarity and that transparency for you going forward. And let me know if you have any questions as well, you know, as we are discussing this on a daily basis, you know, feel free to reach out if you have any specific questions that you want me to address. Happy to do so. 
Uh, and please hit the like button, subscribe, and also the bell notification. And watch out for the next coming up.